a dream since you were a child, but you couldn't let it go. Welcome to Ireland. Once upon a time, there were two farms. The Maldoon farm where Rosemary lived, and right down the road was my farm where my son Anthony asked his lonely question of the stars. Why did you make me so? Rosemary Muldoon yeah! besotted with love. There's these green fields, and there's us. Whatever that is, it holds me here. Oh, what is this, those things? It's not normal. I don't care. You take after John Kelly, and that man was mad as the full moon drowned himself. He fell in. He had a rock tied to his neck. Rosemary, we're known to each other quite the while now. Would you marry me? <laughs> Are you going to leave the farm to Anthony? I don't see a clear path. From where to where? From me to you. My cousin is coming. What do you think? It's the finest car I've ever seen. You're not from the farm to an American. I'm waiting for that one. What are you waiting for? Me, I don't wait. I do like that. You should come to New York sometime. Anthony will never marry. If it comes to that, I'll freeze my eggs. You should freeze your whole body if you're waiting for that one. Will you call a sequel? Have you ever had a dream since you were a child and you couldn't let it go? So you put this gate between us. Has your dream made you happy or miserable? You kissed him! It was he! I don't understand you people. Why do you make everything so hard? You just seem to accept these crazy things. I don't like a fight. Well, who does? Half of Ireland, just not me. If my true love, he were gone, I would surely find another. Anthony, time is running out. Oh. What is love? Is it a quest? What are you doing? The madness. How many days do we have while the sun shines? It's not shining. I believe that it is. Will you call a seagull? Hey guys, here's a little known fact about Emily Blunt. Now most people know that Emily is married to a quiet place co-star John Krasinski, but not as many people know that she was in a relationship with singer Michael Bublé for three years until 2008. Bublé wrote his hit single Everything For Her and she even features on his album Call Me Irresponsible, singing at the end of the track Me and Mrs Jones. To like my show, you can get one for yourself in the link in the description.